Hey everybody, welcome back to Baking with Rose Hill Sourdough. This is Mike, and today I'm going to be talking to you about why Baker's Math, or Baker's Percentages, well, why Baker's Math just absolutely rules. I'll be giving you a couple examples of why you should be using it and how to use it when you're developing recipes. So first example I'm going to be doing is with pizza dough. So typically with pizza dough, you might have a certain number of pizzas that you want to make, and those might be at a certain uh, weight. And so I'm going to be using the example of four 250 gram dough balls that I want to make. And I'm just going to start by taking four times 250, which is going to give me a thousand grams. So I'm going to start there and I'm just going to write down a quick pizza dough recipe. You might see recipes like this in percentages. This is why percentages is awesome. I'm going to show you exactly how to use a recipe like this. 100% flour, 60 water, 3 salt, 3 oil, and 10% sourdough to build a recipe and all the ingredients you need to make a thousand grams of dough. So first add all that up and you get 176. So I'm gonna take my 1000 grams and I'm gonna divide by 176. I could also divide it by 1.76, it's all the same. I'm gonna take that number, 5.68, and I multiply it by 100 and that's going to give me 568 grams. And that's how many grams of flour I need for my recipe. Now remember, Everything in percentages is based off of flour. So for all my other ingredients, I just do the quick math, 568 times the percentage, and that's gonna give me the weight of each ingredient that I need. So for water, that's 341 grams. For salt and for oil both, since they're both at 3%, that's 17 grams. And for my sourdough, well, that's an easy one, 10%. That's going to give me 57 grams. I'm rounding here a little bit, no big deal. I'm gonna add all that up, and guess what I get? 1,000 grams, that's exactly what I was looking for. And that's four dough balls, gonna give me 250 gram dough balls each. So there you go, how to develop a recipe for four 250 gram dough balls based on a, a certain percentage recipe. I'm gonna leave this here so you can screenshot it, and we can go on to our second example. This works for any weight, uh, any type of dough they're using, and any percentages. And I'm gonna show you that with example two, which is with bread dough. So I'm just gonna write down a bread dough recipe here, 100% flour. Every recipe, remember with percentages, will always have 100% flour. Even if you're mixing flours, they'll always add up to 100%. Uh, 75 water, three salt, and 20 sourdough. All right, so I'm gonna try to make two recipes here, one for a 500 gram loaf and one for a 750 gram loaf. This is typically the size of dough balls that I like to make. So I'm just gonna start um, by taking that 198 number by adding up all my percentages and I'm just going to divide 500 and 750 by those numbers. So that's gonna give me 2.52, which is gonna give me 252 grams of flour for my 500 gram dough ball and that's going to give me 379 grams uh, for my 750 gram dough ball. It, with these higher percentage um, loaves, it's pretty easy just to say half uh, the total grams, the total weight of the loaf is for flour. Uh, it's a good rule of thumb to start there. And then I'm just gonna start filling in my table here. Uh, it's pretty easy. Everything again is just related back to the amount of flour I'm using. So 252 times 75, that's 189. I'm just gonna go through and fill in my table. So seven grams of salt, 11 grams of salt, uh, 50 grams of sourdough for my 500 gram loaf and 76 for my 750 gram loaf. Uh, add all that up and there you go. I've got a 498 gram loaf, which is pretty close and a 750 gram loaf uh, for my bread. So I'm just gonna leave this screenshot here. Again, this is super easy. Uh, once you have percentages and you know how to get the amount of flour, then everything just backs right out of that. So find your flour first and then multiply your percentages for every ingredient through and that's how you get how much you need for each recipe. So there you go. Um, that is how to use Baker's Percentages. Thank you guys so much for coming by and watching the video. If you like this video, please subscribe. A lot more videos coming. Uh, thank you guys so much for following me here on YouTube. And if you like more of this stuff, please follow me on Instagram at Rose Hill Sourdough. Thanks. Bye.